Wir treffen uns mit Max Cavalera von Soulfly hier vor der Live Music Hall in Köln. Max, how are you doing today? Not too well, you were. Yeah, so so. <laughs> I'm excited to be here, though. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, we did the England mm -hmm. and a uh, couple shows in uh, two in Holland, one in France, and now a full German tour, mm -hmm. and it's been very good. Maybe Soulfly's best tour, one of yeah. the best tours is this one. So I can hardly think of another band like Soulfly that tours so heavily. I mean, um, you've been to a lot of different countries so far, right? Yeah, we've seen some wild stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have any good stories about that or what were the favorite countries you visited? Well, depends. Sometimes the show, I have a favorite show, doesn't really match the favorite place, mm -hmm. you know? Um, we are talking about places then. I think for me, the most exciting... Um, so fly last year Russian tour it was yeah. it was very cool it was wild we we went to uh Ukraine and Kiev and um inside Russia like parts that are going to, towards eastern you know going towards um Korea and stuff yeah I never knew we have fans in those places and it was great and then you know we're, we're the, like the only band as heavy as that the, the last band they had as like that was like deep purple yeah so it, the, the fans were really amazing you know when they were offering you the tour over there weren't you a little bit scared to go there in the first place Organ organization wise um you always have a little bit but not me you know it's like i think it's exciting yeah you know yeah. i kind of like i kind of i'm used to now you yeah. know 20 years of surprises <laughs> on the road <laughs> kidnapping jamaica you know oh, yeah. um getting hold, held up in Bela, belarusia and that train you pretty good yeah so when those things come you're not so freaked out <laughs> you know you just kind of go all right we'll manage we'll manage before we'll do it again you know uh, you once told me that gloria might write a book about all these traveling you did mm -hmm. is that true so. is it still in the making or i hope so i yeah. think i hope she Because it's amazing stuff. Yeah. Is she keeping a, di a daily diary? Yeah, she what? writes like in a diary, you know. Yeah. Um, I hope so, because it'd be really, really, really interesting for for fans. For, not just fans, I think like you're, you're somebody from your family can read that book and probably go, holy shit, I didn't know it was like this yeah, to be in yeah. a band. It's like a di completely different uh, experience, mm -hmm. you know, the other things we see. So hopefully they'll do that, she'll mm -hmm. do something like that. Over the years, you got confronted with a lot of personal tragedies in your life. Um, what helped you to survive? Uh, music is a great big thing on it. Yeah. You know, um, I say, you know, it's, you know, in a way, music can not fix everything, mm. but if it does help a lot. Without music, I'd be pretty lost. Mm -hmm. You know, or uh, probably go the wrong way you know yeah, yeah. Like, like negative into the negative stuff yeah. so music is, is mean like family too you know friends um but music is the one yeah like which i can actually really easier deal with those stuff especially tragedy so yeah so i write songs that thrill pain and stay strong they're really for me they're really important songs yeah they're, they're hard to make But once they made, they mean a lot, you know, mm. to have them, you know. Um, I got one last question. I mean, um, during the last weeks, there were some rumors flying around that there might be a small possibility of you reuniting with the old band. Do you want to comment on this or what's your opinion on the whole story? I, I heard a, a lot of rumors too. <laughs> Probably as much as you. <laughs> uh, nothing really concrete came, you know, to me really, you know. But I kind of approached that a little bit like, right now I'm not really thinking about it. If it happens at some point, it'd be actually it'd be pretty cool mm. if it's done the right way, mm. which is that's my main concern. Mm. Done the proper way, so it's not as you know a reunion tour that people are gonna be like, oh why why reunited. Mm -hmm. to do this it's better to leave it good mm -hmm. than to do a bad reunion you know yeah. but at the moment i'm so busy with soulfly it's like it's not even crossing my mind yeah. 
to go back with Sepultura. I mean, so Fly is more popular now than Sepultura, you know, yeah, yeah. was in a, in a different way. Yeah. You know, so, uh, but I also understand the fans, the hardcore fans would like to see that. Yeah. Just like last year I played with Sabbath, you know, we did some the German shows. Mm -hmm. And it was just great to see Black Sabbath. Mm -hmm. There's something about it. So I'm sure that for people to see oh, us as a Sepultura, it'd be. Plus, you guys are still cool. young. Well, not that young, <laughs> <laughs> but younger than Thavis. Yeah. Well, you know, so so let's see. It's kind of like parachute. I never parachute. Mm. I'd like to do it one day, okay. but I'm not thinking about it right now. Okay. Yeah. Thanks a lot for the interview. And now let's watch um, the second video clip from the new record, which is called Frontlines. Frontlines, filmed in Serbia. Okay. All right. Man. Thanks a lot. Thanks for doing it. Thank you. 